One million baby salmon raised to replace salmon killed during the Oroville Dam spillway crisis were sent back into the wild today. Crews released the fish into the Sacramento River with the hopes that they would swim out to sea and help boost the population hit hard by the disaster. But one organization says the location where those fish were deposited is problematic, and today's release could end up hurting the fishing economy upstream, they say. New tonight, CBS 13's Lisa Meadows is in the newsroom to explain this. Lisa? That's right, Tony and Christina. The Department of Water Resources spent $350,000 raising baby salmon to return to the Feather River, but some people are worried that's not where they'll go. This morning, the Department of Fish and Wildlife sent one million baby salmon splashing into the Sacramento River just north of the city. The object is this fishery needs as much help as it can get, and the Department of Water Resources, the Department of Fish and Wildlife, are working towards that. A $350,000 contract by the DWR led to an additional 2 million Chinook salmon swimming through our rivers out to sea. But today's group had to start a little further south. Ideally, we would have liked to release these on the Feather River. Unlike the last fish release in the wet month of April, DWR couldn't pulse flow water for this fleet of fish, which needed to help push the salmon past their predators. One of the reasons we are planting fish down here is to be below that mass of striped bass, which would eat as many baby salmon as they possibly could. But the Golden Gate Salmon Association says when this batch of fish returns in a few years, it won't be to the benefit of the economies upstream. Chinook salmon tend to swim back to where they were released, so in a few years, they may only go as far north as the Sacramento area, instead of all the way up to Oroville, Yuba City, and Marysville. It was a very tough year on young fish of all species in the Feather River. Leading to some potentially rough salmon seasons ahead. We lost habitat. We lost spawning grounds. Um, and those just aren't going to come back on their own. Now, like always, these fi some of these fish were tagged. So coming up here in a few years, we're going to see actually where they did end up. We'll wait and see. All right, Lisa, thanks for that.